if you just uh, try to install this node.js windows installer on your machine you will understand that it requires admin permission to install so in a situation like you're on your machine and i mean your office laptop and you got some time to try this but you don't have admin permissions here you see you need admin permissions to install this so how to get around this just cancel this installer go back again to that node.js download page instead of downloading this msi installer just download this windows binary zip file so i have downloaded it here and extracted in the extraction you see the node is there and pm and px as you are aware next thing you have to do is set the path to this node installer so let's see how we can do it in most efficient way for your future work create a simple text file say set path dot and make the extension to bat windows batch file change directory to this directory where you are trying this node.js then it's the set path set path here is the folder i have extracted that node.js zip file then whatever currently in the path after that you have to come back to the command prompt so you can execute other node.js commands from there now just save it i will add this uh, content of this file to video description also so that's easy for you whenever you want to try node.js something like that just run this file now you see not v okay version 14 7 something and pm version okay now as you see we have done the configuration path is set so i use uh, visual studio code for this node.js stuff important thing to note is that even though you set path there you can't access node here now let's change directory to this folder let's see if it will work you see even then it doesn't work so how to fix this even though you have set path you don't have access to that in visual studio code close this visual studio for now the only fix is we just open the code in the command prompt with the current directory here okay now it opens up let's see now we have access to node or not okay you see now we have access to node so i think that solves many of your problems you can start coding right away on any machine even though you are not admin of it so see you next time thanks